Hi, this is Adam with Houndify. In our last tutorial, we set up the Web SDK's example project. In this tutorial, we're going to modify that code, integrating a voice output domain to hear the Houndify response. As you can see, we have the example project running, and I'm using a client that has the weather domain enabled, so I can do queries like, what's the weather like in San Francisco? And we get the results. Now it's nice that we're able to speak to it, but it'd be great if it could speak back to me. I know I have the results here from the spoken response and even the spoken response long, so we just need to find a way to hear that voice output. Hanify offers an audio output domain which can automatically provide audio bytes to play the spoken response. So if we go into hanify.com, we'll see we have the domain set up. We could go over to categories and change that to voices. And then we could see Selvi TTS. And then we could click on that to have a look. Here's a description of what the domain will do. And it also has a bunch of samples of the different voices, both female and male, and a variety of different languages. So we can listen to Richard. The weather in Chicago is 78 degrees and partly cloudy. And how about listening to Claire? The weather in Chicago is 25 degrees and partly cloudy. So you can see there's a variety of different voices to choose from. Now in order to use this domain, I have to ensure that I'm upgraded to a paid account. So I'm going to switch over to that right now. After you've upgraded your account, you can enable this domain and save the changes. There are going to be some terms you're going to have to agree to. And once you've done that, the domain will be added. Now this domain just supplements what previous domains already exist. If I go back to the documentation, I can find out all the instructions on how to get this set up. You'll see that you're going to want to use the response audio voice and response audio short or long within the request info. And if your query has a match, its result JSON will include the voice data within response audio bytes. In fact, if we switch back over and use the try API, we can open up the request details and because we've enabled the voice output domain, we have the ability to select the response audio voice. For now, I'm going to select Judy, and we'll keep it as short. And you'll see it's automatically populated the response audio voice and the response audio short or long. So if I do a query like, what's the weather like in New York? The weather is 39 degrees and cloudy in New York. We hear response. And in fact, if we scroll down into the results and do a search for response audio bytes, we'll see we have it listed there. So let's integrate that into our example app. We'll go to the project and into the index.html file, and we'll want to modify the request info. Now the response audio voice and set that to Judy and the response audio short or long, and set that to short. Now that I've changed that there, I also want to change the way the response works. We'll scroll down to where the Houndify client is initialized and look for the on response callback. This is what gets called when we get a response. We're going to create a new variable, audio bytes, and set that to the response dot all results response audio bytes. And if that exists, we're going to play it. Now in order to know what format the audio is sent in, we could look back at the documentation and see that it's sent in a WAV format in Base64 encoding. We can go back to our project and create a variable sound, which will be a new audio element with the data type audio wave with Base64 encoding, and then our audio bytes. And then we'll just play that. However, we'll want to stop the playback if we start a new query. So I'm going to remove var and scroll down to where we're making the text and voice query. And just above that, declare the variable sound and create a new function stop voice output which checks if sound is defined. And if it is, we'll pause the sound and then set that variable to null. 
Then we'll just copy that function and put it within the text query as well as the voice query. Then save our project. So I can go back in and reload the page and then make a query like, what's the weather like in Chicago? The weather is 25 degrees and cloudy in Chicago. And we can hear the response with a voice output. And that's all we needed to do. We enabled the voice output domain. We set fields for the request info to include the response audio voice and response audio short or long, and then played the resulting audio using the response audio bytes. Try it for yourself at houndify.com.